Hello folks, I just wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible because I just learned something um, which probably a lot of you uh, scientists and chemists already know but um, I don't think it's generally known. I didn't know about it until yesterday and I'm extremely excited about it which is that there are metals that repel magnets. I didn't know that, but anyway, um, this makes a particular problem I've been trying to solve very easy to solve, which is a magnet motor, basically. How do you attract a magnet motor in one direction and then repel it in the same direction, as opposed to getting the equal and opposite force effect, which you generally get from trying to use magnets for that. So um, let me just show you this picture I sketched out real quick. It's really simple. Uh, basically, this wheel in the center has magnets all around it. It doesn't, it shouldn't matter which direction they're facing. And then we've got iron. The dark triangles represent iron. I don't think they have to be triangles even, but I figure just thinking about which way this is going to turn and how it gradually approaches the tip of the iron this way, I just think that might be a good shape. Oh, plus it fits in a box nicely. But at any rate, the iron... Uh, will, in theory, attract the magnets, and then bismuth, the magical metal that I found out repels magnets, which there are actually a f quite a few metals that repel magnets, but bismuth has the strongest repulsion. You just put that on the other side, uh, which should create the opposite effect. So as the magnet is coming here and becoming more and more attracted to the iron and uh, trying to stick to it, it if there's enough momentum, it then flies into the bismuth proximity, and then it's repelled, and it wants to get away. It uses the momentum to to get away, and, you know, as you can see, this edge of this magnet is closer to this bismuth than this magnet is, so it, it, it could want to repel itself away from the bismuth in this direction. You could get cogging right here where they meet where it wants to attract to the iron but won't go any further than that because of the bismuth. Therefore, I think it would still be necessary to have some kind of arrangement, perhaps such as this. I think this might work because 10 does not divide into 8 equally, or 4. So we have an offset here. When this magnet is reaching this position where the iron meets the bismuth, this magnet over here is under the bismuth, and we have an, a magnet over here which is under the bismuth, so it wants to get away. And we have this magnet here attracted to the iron, trying to turn this way. So hopefully with a proper arrangement like this that's offset so that you don't get all corners with magnets meeting the iron at the same time, we'll have an equally distributed force of attraction or actually an unequal force of attraction and repulsion. This is different than your kind of typical method of using north and south up here as you're repelling and attracting forces and having, you know, the corresponding direction on the rotor magnets. Like for instance, if we had north, south, north, south, north, south, and north is always going forward while south is going backwards. And then having the magnets up here try to south against south here or something like that. The reason that's different is because magnets don't work on a linear north-south uh, directional pole. There's a pole, there is north, there is south, but it's not exactly linear because there's a spin that occurs. And the south rotates one way while the north is in a sense rotating the same way but because they're on opposite ends they're opposite or they're they're going in opposite directions i'll do another video with a diagram showing the how that works but it's just there's a lot more to it with magnets um than is apparent um but with these two metals together and this could be nickel or any other attracting metal but iron is probably the most attracting metal um, with these two metals it's almost like we're creating a magnet with a linear north and south direction and then in effect these magnets it works whether you're if we've got the north side facing them or the south side facing them it doesn't matter because 
bismuth always repels all magnets no matter what direction and iron always attracts all magnets no matter what direction so it doesn't matter if you've got north or south facing in or out or going this way or facing that way so here's an idea you can try to help the planet get off its endless consumption of fossil fuels i'm going to try it myself once i get the funds and materials but i'm not at that point yet but i don't want that to hold anything back the world needs technology like this that doesn't require paying some oligarch endless amounts of money because you need their supplies. I welcome you to try this. I welcome you to share this video. The only thing I ask is that you don't keep it for yourself to make money or for any other reason. To my knowledge, this is a new concept. Magnet motors have been attempted for a very long time. I know there's been some success, but it hasn't gotten out there. And I've never seen magnet motors using bismuth or really any other kind of repelling metal. Hopefully somebody can uh, develop this into a working motor that we can all use soon. Post videos of your progress uh, on YouTube or wherever you do that. And please post a link to this video showing where your idea came from. Um, it will help you explain the concept so that you don't have to do all that explanation in your video. You can just show how far you've gotten. Don't forget to like this video. Good luck if you're going to try it and take care.